I'm Miriam Shaw. Um, um, share farming in Cambridge. We're 25% share farming on a 320 cow farm. And uh, th this season you had a couple of issues with your calves. Can you tell me about that? Uh, yeah, early in the season we got a confirmed rotavirus um, test came back from the vets. Uh, just in a couple of our younger um, bobby calves um, and it spread through into some of our heifer, heifer replacements. We had an isolation pen of about 10 or 12 calves and anything in there we gave a minimum of 50 mils per day straight down the throat of uh, calf brew um, and everything else we gave it a dose of about 10 mils a day in the milk. Within three days, the calves that I had in isolation that had the, the scours were perked up and weren't scouring anymore. They're, they kind of didn't look depressed anymore. They, they were happy calves. Um, the rest of the calves that we gave sort of a maintenance dose to, none of them uh, started scouring, none of them caught it. What, what do you think is different about calf brew? Uh, it's really easy to give them. Um, and they seem to like the taste. I've used powdered, <coughs> used powdered probiotics in the past and you tip it in with the milk and they drink it, but you're never quite sure how much each of them is getting, um, which is why I like the fact that this is a liquid and I can pour it down their throat. I know if you're a slower drinker, you've had the same amount as a fast drinker has. Uh, I'm Mike Shaw, I'm Miriam's better half. Um, I do the same job as Miriam, except I don't really do much with the calves. Uh, leave that to someone who, who knows. Um, I have used the calf brew on a cow that I had. She came in, had big twins, retained membranes, and was wobbly. Just She looked like she was probably going to die. Um, and we, Andre suggested trying to give her some uh, calf brew. So over three days she got a litre. Not in one day, she was 500 mils, missed a day 500 mils. And um, she's a completely different cow now. She wants to live and yeah, uh, like I'm a bit of a skeptic on these sorts of things, but this is changing my mind really.